shit, we're going to get along with Michael Madsen. I'll tell you right now, man. Uh, we're back with the Opie and Anthony Show. Bob uh, Kelly in studio. And the great Michael Madsen. Yeah. Who just yeah. told us that he hasn't been in New York in five years. And he, he he's thanking us right off the bat because he got a free trip to New York because of uh, our radio show. Yeah, That's a course. pretty good deal as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cold outside, but, you know, it beats the hell out of L.A. Yeah. You, you've been in L.A. for how long? Um, when I have to be there uh, back yeah. and forth for about 14, 15 years now. Yeah. Oh, shit. But you've been traveling, you were saying. Uh... I've been all over the world. I've been uh, Ireland and uh, Bulgaria, Moscow. The hell is it at doing Bulgaria? <laughs> I don't know where Bulgaria. It's called is. employment, son. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I have to go where I need to go. I'm more popular in foreign countries than I am in my own. So, <laughs> is that the truth? Come on, yeah, it seems that way. It's a little rough getting work nowadays. Um, Why the fuck is that? A lot You're... of competition in Hollywood, you know. Michael Madsen, for fuck's sake. You know the guy with the towel and always the, does a scene with a towel on. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm up against him, you know, and the, and the other one, the Scientologist, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, the rest of them. Uh, I mean, good Lord, you know, make some room for Danny, but uh, <laughs> you know, they're not very gracious about that, believe me. No? no. I mean, you, you know. They drive past me in the street with my legs amputated to get to a meeting with Bruce Willis. <laughs> 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 you know, you know. Oh, get it all out, you know, Michael. Come on, let's get it out. Oh, then, 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 <laughs> let's then, get it out. Then, then I meet Bruce on Sin City, and he starts telling me about all these projects we're going to do together. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, that sounds pretty good, Bruce. Yeah, thanks for looking after me. Meanwhile, you know, a couple years later, <laughs> you're, you're going to Bulgaria. <laughs> I see him at Astronaut Farmer premiere. I'm like, hey, man, uh, remember all those projects you told me about? He's like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what projects? Yeah, you know. What about the last Die Hard? You could have mm, yeah. been in that one. Oh, wouldn't that have been wonderful? <laughs> <laughs> that would have really given my career a boost. <laughs> I would have been the guy that he threw out the window or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus All right, Christ. Mike, in this scene, you light a cigarette, you fire a gun, and Bruce kicks you down a flight of stairs. <laughs> uh, no thanks, fellas. I, uh, I'd rather I... pump gas. <laughs> 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 By the way, uh, I, we're all huge fans of what oh, you have done. Hell yeah. And I just didn't expect this angle, and I'm loving it. Huh? Fucking no, it's not an angle. It's not an angle. I understand. It's, like, it's the, are, the, are business end, the business end of the business blows. No matter, it just blows. It blows. People really knew what goes on behind the... Oh, dude, uh, those doors. Not to try to relate to a, a, a great actor That's like nice. yourself, but I mean, just doing radio, the bullshit we have to deal with. You're like, yeah, fuck you. You think it's all fun and games, and then right. behind the scenes, everything sucks, and management, they're assholes and everything, and, and it's, it's, it's got to like, be the same way they, in movies. They ruin, a, as far as where we sit, the greatest job you could have. It's, it's like, how do you ruin the goof, greatest job you could have? Goofing on shit. I was right. listening to you guys in the other room, and I went, which one of you got to take a shit? I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just thought that was amazing. Fuck this and fuck that. <laughs> that motherfucker. I gotta take a shit. <laughs> Holy shit. And you're sitting there like, fuck. And this is why I, I'm sitting on these bleachers waiting to get in there so they can talk yeah, about yeah, a shit they have to take. Yeah, you Great. Take shit. No, no. Oh, yeah. yeah it's, it's, uh, uh, we like to call it an open and honest show. Yeah. Uh, I took a good shit before I left the hotel. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Man, it does make you feel good. It did. It's like the great way to wake up in the morning. So, <laughs> oh, God, yeah. So I think I'm reading you. I th I'm uh, ready for the day. I'm hearing... <laughs> ready to load up again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the feeling oh, that you. Uh, this is so not what I expected. <laughs> no shit, man. Uh, we just got like, we just got done with Ben from Lost. Very actor-y, very formal. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, yeah. Right. yeah. Sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Another exciting show. <laughs> <laughs> what will happen next? <laughs> Someone will get lost. <laughs> oh God in heaven! I'm gonna bring a camera crew over to my fucking house. <laughs> They want to make a reality show, I can tell you. But oh, I'm more shit. Than that I, shit. <laughs> oh, Michael's dude. been, I could, I could uh, kind of sense. Don't even Michael's ask him. Michael's been through the mill <laughs> yeah. uh, as far as Hollywood goes. And, and a lot of people hide this stuff, but 
They're a bunch of assholes over there. I mean, it's just the, the way it is. Oh, there's a lot of them that are nice, and I've had some great times. I've made some good pictures. I've been very lucky. Oh, hell yeah. But, but, but you know, 85% of it is horse shit. Yeah. Yeah, there's... Uh, it's too hard to... It's... Uh, I get more I get more work on my own than I do by uh, you know playing the normal game of getting work. Really, I run into people at a at a party somewhere and get a script or meet somebody that wants to do something and you just scare the shit out of them. They're like, all right, I'll put you in a movie. <laughs> Jesus. Well, they have to stay to get me like you do with me, but <laughs> <laughs> it, it, does it amaze you sometimes when you look at the top grossing movie of the week and go like, what? What the fuck is this country thinking? Yeah, I kind of get that feeling, uh, especially with uh, some of the pictures that are nominated right now. It's uh, yeah, very bewildering to me. Like what? Which one? In, uh, Oh, well, you see, the thing is, is if I start naming certain <laughs> titles, those people will never hire me again. Not that they would anyway, but uh, I, 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 I am a bit mystified by some of the things that seem to be, um, that get uh, an enormous amount of attention in box office. It's amazing to me. Yeah, I don't know where, because I'll look, I'll look at a trailer on TV or, or in the movie theater and, and say, there is no way I'll ever see this movie. I have no interest in seeing it. And then it's, you know, number one, number two. And you go, well, who the fuck? Who, well, you didn't who like, saw this? You don't like Fool's Gold? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Is that a movie? <laughs> We're just I, a bunch I, I, of lemmings out there because Fool's Gold is getting the worst ratings, like, as, you know, reviews, whatever. <laughs> And it was number one at the box office. I'm does like, he, does, does anyone read? No. Is there a scene in there where he wears a towel? <laughs> <laughs> a towel. There's got to be one, right, with the big <laughs> knot in the front. <laughs> and his yeah. hair's wet. Oh, yeah, oh, exactly. I, I mean, my... I, I did a picture in Ireland. I played an Irish-American prize fighter in a picture called Strength and Honor. And it was the first time I uh, produced a picture, and I tried to get involved in the distribution and all that. And uh, I learned a lot of lessons about the way that that stuff goes. And believe me, there's a lot of big money changing hands yeah. for promotional campaigns and mm -hmm. this kind of thing. And, you know, the picture really got overlooked. And uh, I'm trying to get some guys to re-release it. But I I think I'm up against a stacked deck. I mean, it's really hard to uh, it's hard to make room. They don't make room for, for anybody, you know. It's a, it's a very doggy dog uh, thing. Yeah, they got the thing figured out the way they want it to make the most, and they don't want anybody changing the rules on them. Well, I guess. as soon as I get in there, I'll be, I'll, you know, be saying, telling them that they're all the greatest guys in the world. You know, <laughs> I was wrong. You know? Go fuck <laughs> no, I was just kidding when I was on the radio. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> You're living our, living my our God. life. I no, oh, I didn't mean what get I said about him. <laughs> get, get me a get towel. Get me a towel. I'll do a scene with a sake. towel. I'm scared, I'm scared to ask him questions about movies he's uh, been in now. I, I'm very lucky, and I've been very fortunate. Actually, I'm, just, you I'm, I'm, I'm in a great, great industry. I really yeah. am. I'm just Some, kidding around with you Someone guys. threw you in uh, IMDb, and they're saying, unfucking believable you made 18 movies in, for 2008 alone. Well, I got six boys to take care of, and, you know, I need to keep a lot of groceries in the fridge. <laughs> you have six kids? Yeah. Yeah, boys. Wow. My house is like Lord of the Flies. <laughs> actually, I actually saw they have like theme days. Like one day they'll all dress up as cowboys and Indians. They're running through the house, spearing each other and shooting arrows at me. And, you know, it's amazing. I got a striped shirt with a whistle. That's basically my wardrobe when I'm at home. You know. Yeah, no, it's just you know, it's the army day. The whole camouflage are in camis. They're out in the bushes, you know, shooting paintballs at each other. It's insane. I mean, I don't know how my wife, she's amazing. She deals with it. They tied her up one time. <laughs> <laughs> tied, her to a, the, tied her to a tree outside. You know, she was like, my God, God, my God, help me. I couldn't believe it. I, mean, I always wish I had brothers growing up, and now I got all these sons, and it's just like amazing the way they are with each other. Like, yeah. I didn't miss fuck all, you know. <laughs> Can I, I got to ask the obvious. Have you ever oh, done stand-up, Michael? Huh? Have you ever done stand-up? Uh, no. Uh, nobody ever asked me that. Yeah, he, 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 I mean, he, he's if, got, he, if like, he did stand-up, though, and some, if, he, if a heckler ever messed with him, oh, that'd be if, if, if I did stand-up, I always thought that I would want to do this thing where one time I was in my trailer and I was making a movie. I was in, I was in Poland, and I was so fucking bored. I was going out of my mind, right? I had a shit in a bucket. <laughs> All right? That's how, that's how low-budget it was. <laughs> And and I was just sitting there thinking, my God, is this what it is? I was being eaten alive by all these Polish insects and 
<laughs> you know, it was at four o'clock in the morning, and I was like, oh my God, you know, I wish I was a lumberjack. This is so <laughs> fucked up, you know. I just don't want to be in this business. Why am I here? And I started thinking for some strange reason about 